Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to design a Facebook cover page. So basically, it's going to be about Facebook cover photo design. Consider subscribing if today is your first time visiting my channel. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So this is basically what we're going to do. When you zoom in, you can see the exact way. This is very neat and you can upload it onto your Facebook timeline. So if you go to my Facebook page, I basically uploaded this. So this is on my Facebook page and it fits exactly onto my official Facebook page. If you go to Facebook official head page, they will give you this exact size you can use to design this particular cover photo. Okay, so this is the design 851 315 for your design. But I use basically a different design and it fits exactly there so if you want to go with the size that facebook is going to give you you can stick to that so let's jump right into action and then start designing this if you want to check the size of your design you can just go to image tab and click on what's image size so you can see i'm using 4100 by 1560 pixels and the resolution is around 500 that is what i use for my design i'm going to stick to that same resolution and size for this particular design but you can go with any design as you have on facebook head page and you can equally do the same thing so let's go to file and start this process click on new and then we're going to set our size so here i want to set my set my size at 4100 by 1560 pesos and the resolution is going to be 500 color mode rgb and that is all give the title to this let's say facebook cover and click on what creates so basically this is the background we're going to be working with and to avoid copyrights i will recommend you go to a site where you can get free stock images okay so it's pezos.com where you can get free stock images for your design so whatever you want to use this for based on your niche if it's about digital marketing just type it i want image about programming so i just type that and it's going to give me images about programming and then you can search for whatever image you want to use for your design okay if you are okay with that just download that image and you can see i use this similar image for my final design so this was actual image for the design just click and then open that image and you can download this onto your desktop for your design okay so this image you don't need to give credit to the owner you can use it for free so click on free download i've already downloaded this and i have it right here so this is the image i'm going to use for this design so the, once you are done downloading that image you cannot move it to your design so remember this is the standard we are using so i'm going to drag this image on top of my design so I'm just going to drag this to Photoshop and then drop it here. So I have this fit exactly on top of my design and just confirm this by clicking on the check. And then go ahead and then draw the shape. So we want to draw this shape on top of our main design over here. I'm going to use a pen tool to do this. So I'll go to pen tool, select that pen tool and then draw my shape. I just want to draw a shape here. Click and then just click right here as well and then just click around the entire image this way and then join it from where you started from. Right click and select what to make selection and confirm this by clicking on OK. Once you are done, we want to create this new shape or new layer on a separate layer so go to your layer panel and click on what new layer and we have to fill this place with a color the new layer with a new color if you check this we use a blue black color for this so if you want to use the exact color you can just select your color panel use the eyedropper tool in order to pick that same color and you can copy the color code okay once that is done in order to show our selection with the color you have to press alt delete on your keyboard so I'll press alt delete and it's going to fill that place with the color for me ctrl d to deselect everything so we have this setup and we need i give some stroke to this as a white stroke you can do that by selecting the new shape you drew 
and then double click on it from the layer panel and then select stroke okay i use the white stroke and you can see that you can increase the size it's using 12 i can increase it to around 30 can you just type 30 over there and select what okay so once this is done we need to also bring our logo we need a logo on top of this so we we'll go ahead and include the logo here so i'll go and then i think i have my logo also here i'll drag it to photoshop and drop it on top of this so i'll resize this logo a bit and then click on the check icon or hit enter on your keyboard to confirm this so this is my logo and my logo contains some blue black colors and it's also sitting on a blue bag layer so it will not appear or it's not be visible to my viewers so the best thing we need to do is that we need to draw a shape below this okay we need to draw a shape below this just as we have in our final design so i'll go to my shape layer and then pick a rounded rectangle tool and then draw a shape below this basically it's going to be on top but we can just position it later on so change the color from the layer panel to white and then this is on top of our logo so we just have to drop it below our logo so go to the layer panel and drop this below it okay and that is good but let's move it a bit to the far a bit to the right because we have some other shape to put at the far left corner so we have to drag this to the right a bit so select the logo and then the background together hold down control in order to select the two and then now move it a bit to the right you can resize it smaller you can just reduce the size and then confirm this so once we are done with this let's zoom in and then we can continue with the rest of our design remember to like and don't forget to turn on post notification and subscribe as well so let me just zoom in a bit so we see what exactly is happening so now we are done with this let's go ahead and start typing few stuff so we're going to type the description of our business so we will type we are web design and data marketing agency so let's go ahead and type that with the type to selected just click and then change the font color from the properties change it to white so that this will be visible and let's reduce the font size a bit let's change it to regular from regular to italic and then type we are web design and so the digital marketing will follow so let's resize this it should be a bit smaller so i think this is okay let's compare it to what we have over here and then we type digital marketing and this should be very bold now type what digital marketing let's change it from italic to what bold we are using the same calibre and make sure you are typing this in your caps so let's now call it digital marketing and the font is still going to be bold and we change the color to yellowish okay and now we're going to what resize this because we want this to be more visible than the web design and the others so we just have to reposition this right here and the next thing is going to be what agency so we we'll type agency below this the type to select it then we type agency but I want to change the color to work white. So select everything from the property tab. Just select what and choose the color dropper to the eyedropper to and then select white. Let's increase the size a bit and then use the move tool and then we reposition this. Okay. So let's zoom out a bit and see how this is going to look. Okay. And I believe this is taking shape. This is looking better. So let's zoom in back and then continue with where we left from let's continue from where we left from now we're going to draw a shape just below our description so i'll just use the rectangular tool and then just draw a line horizontal line below this and i'll make sure this is yellowish just do that and that is it now we want to put in our website details below this that is going to be the website for your business if you have it we want to type that below this so we're just going to type it right here we're going to use 
a regular for a regular phone for this that's calibre regular and i will type in our website so it's going to be the name of your website in my case agiotechgh.com and i'll reduce the size reduce the size just position this and then i need a copy of this but this one I should be what my email so it's going to be info at agiotech gh.com okay i'll give a space between this because i'll be putting the logos over the icons that represent my email and then the website as well so we need a rectangular shape that's a rounded rectangular tool to draw a shape below this particular writer so i'll go back and then select rounded rectangular shape and then just draw this below it remember this is going to be yellow let's just do that change the color from the two to what yellow and let's make it a bit deeper and double click and then from the layer panel select color value and then let's change this color let's make the yellow a bit deeper okay that is okay and it's now on top of our right up so we have to drag it below the right up now from the layer star and that is it we have to add some icons and white on yellow is not visible so we have to just change this color towards blue color that's the blue black so select and change the color to blue black and then this is better and then we now go for our icons we need an icon for website and we need that for what email as well and you can download this from can download this from google you can search for any icon at all but i have some already on my pc that i'm going to use i downloaded some switch icons which i'm going to use for my design so this is my switch icon and i need something for website so i'll just select this and then drag this and then drop it here so this is my own i'll resize this and just reposition this here then I can change the color of this. I don't want to use black color, I want to use red. So double click on it from the layer store and then change it to what red. Because I have red in my logo. So I just want to make sure the colors I'm using, they are from my logo. And then we need one for our email. So we'll go through the same process and look for icon that we can use for the email and then pick it. So I can use this for my email. So I just resize this again. I'll just resize this and then change this to red color. Just confirm this and then change this to what red. Okay, so I think that is okay. And let's see what is left. We also need to have our social media pages linked. So we need Twitter, Facebook, and then LinkedIn. So if you have the same thing, just bring those icons. So we need that of Facebook. I'll just drag that of Facebook and remember we are using them here so just drop it here just drop this here i want to use the same red color for that so double click change this to red change this to red let's get out of twitter and then a lot of linkedin so i'll drop this as well here and let me just resize this Confirm this and then change the color from the layer panel. Okay, so I resize this a bit and we are good to go. The last one is going to be the lot of Instagram and we need that of WhatsApp as well. So let me just drop this over here. We'll come and use it pretty soon. I'll change it to yellow. I'll show you why. If you come to our final design over, you can see. I have that of WhatsApp here. That is why I dropped this here. Let me change it to yellow. We can resize this to the town. So I'll change this to yellow. And I'll leave it there for now. So get the last one, which is going to be that of Instagram. That's IG. So we just have to look for that icon. I think I should have it here. So I have this here. I'll just drop it, drag it to Photoshop. 
wrist sizes and just position it here confirm this and then change the color so we just change this to what red okay so let me get your comment just leave your comment at the comment section if there's any suggestion there's any improvement let me know in this video let me just confirm and make sure i use the right color throughout so i want to use the same red color throughout this so we just now go ahead and then type the link to the social media page so that's adutech gh for all my social media handle you can follow me and also subscribe to my youtube channel so i'm going to type make sure you use the right phone in this case i want to use yellow so all my social media platform adutech gh and let me just resize this a bit so i just reposition this here and this part of our design is almost set so you can see what we've done compared to the final design here we are almost set so now we don't need our contact details because that is the easiest way people can easily reach you so let's zoom in here and then we can now move our contacts that's the whatsapp icon let's move it to far right corner as we have in our final design over here and then let's type our contact i'm going to type since people will be contacting you outside of your country make sure you use your country code in addition to your number so that's going to be in my case going to be plus two three three five i'm going to have zero zero then two two seven zero zero two two eight eight so that is going to be my own and i want the color to be white i'll change that to white and then make sure it's bold let's realign this perfectly to my whatsapp icon and finally we're going to bring colors call now so we're just going to type that on top of this so this is also going to be regular so call now and let's just resize this the position here but in this case i want to change the color of call now to red and that is it the final thing we're going to do is to add some bit of finishing to this design as we have over you can see it at the far left corner I have some bubbles over there i need to add that to this design to do that we have to use our type tool and then we have what we call graphs so just select that and then we have several options at the far right corner so select click wherever you want to display that and then you can see the previous one i use is here the bubbles the rectangular short dashes just double click on that and then change the color to what yellow and that is all you can resize you can reduce it and change it anytime you want so when you move through photoshop if you can't see these graphs just go to windows go to windows and then you can see your graphs just check that and then to give this to you now we have everything set up and what you can do is to save this as jpeg and then you can you can send this direct to your facebook and upload it on your timeline just as i have over here you go to my timeline this is exactly what i have over here you can just save and then upload this to your timeline and then with this you can just go to file save this as what well, jpeg select jpeg and save this onto what your pc when you are done saving this when you are done saving this you can go to photoshop you can go to facebook and upload this on your timeline and people can easily contact you once they see your banner and the services you offer they are interested in they can easily contact you so this is how to design a simple facebook cover photo using photoshop let me get your comment at the comment section of this video and if you have any suggestion leave it as well and then we'll get talking till i come away